Today's video is a little bit different. You might think you got it figured out, but unless you watch to the end, you won't get the whole story. Enjoy the video. We are up here in Ozark, Alabama. It's October 31st, and I'm really excited about this video today. We are gonna look at the results of the Apigar treatments I've been doing over the last few weeks. I'm gonna do some mite washes and see what we come up with. Um, on September 26th, I was out here and the mite counts were not exactly what I wanted. I had counts of anywhere from zero to seven, which is really within threshold, but it's just not where I'm going to be. So I went ahead and ordered some Apigard, never used it before and we treated. And uh, I did a video on that, how I applied that. So you guys can go back and watch that video if you want. It was my, I think it was my last full length video. Um, but when I got here this morning, I went ahead and checked the weight of these colonies. They're pretty light still. And so I put some food out for them. It's just right up there and the bees are already checking it out. I'm just trying to open feed them, get some weight on these colonies. But once again, the main objective of this video today is to check uh, for mites today and see how they're looking. And I'm also gonna do that uh, in a couple of other locations wherever I apply that Apigard, just to see what the results are. I'm eager to see. When I applied the Apigard on these colonies that don't have patty rims or shims on them, I did put a stick right up here so it would raise the lid up just a little bit to give the bees a chance to get into that Apigard and kind of move it around like they're supposed to, to to kill the mites. I'm using Don Ultra mixed with water to wash for mites. You put a one, I think about one to two tablespoons of Don Ultra in a gallon of water. And I'll just use this easy check a system right here. It works, it works well. Now when I applied my last dose two weeks ago today, I applied a full dose, which is basically 50, the syringe is 50 milliliters of Apigard and um, they got most of it cleaned off here. There's still a little bit on the card, but I'm just gonna remove these cards. You can go back and watch that video if you want. Just gonna remove these cards, throw them in there. Okay, this is some nectar right here. I guess there could be something blooming, but my thoughts are it's probably from some of the syrup I put out last week for them. Yeah, pretty much full of syrup. Man, look at all that propolis. They've been propolizing like crazy around that apple guard area. Well, this is on the edge of where the card was, and I'm seeing uh, plenty of uh, brood right there. So I'm gonna scan this frame real closely for the queen. Um, don't see her on that frame. Look at that brood pattern, guys. Isn't that an awesome brood pattern? I think these bees are doing just fine. They're looking strong. I don't see the queen on this frame so what i'm going to do i'm going to shake them into this bin right here now the bees will there'll be a lot of bees flying around the forages will go right back into the colony but the nurse bees will stay in the bin here and those are the ones i'll use for the mite check i'm looking real closely one more time for a queen i don't see you're going to shake them in here See how those bees are staying in the bin? Those are probably nurse bees. That's probably enough. Let's shake them down. You want to get a half a cup. This is a fourth of a cup measuring cup here. So I'm going to put two of them in here. Dump them in the, dump them in the wash kit. Shake it a little bit. And it, it does kill those bees almost immediately. We estimate that's about 300 bees. There's also a line in the kit uh, that can tell you when you're at the right mark. And so now what you do is you shake them for a minute. Found that if you swirl them, it may work a little better with this Dawn especially. Remember, you've got to be real careful that you make sure the queen is not in that bend when you shake the bees off. You don't want to wash a queen and kill her. The best way to do it is to actually find her and set her aside, but I looked pretty closely. I didn't see her. So let me shake these for a minute and we'll see what the results are. Okay. Let's see what the results are. Let's walk out here in the sun where we can see better. Oh wow, that's a good result. Zero mites. A couple little pieces of dirt or grass, but no mites. That's a good start. We'll just go ahead and look into the in this one that has one of Greg's queens in it from Nature's Image Farm. Uh, 
uh, we put her in here when uh, Greg came down and brought those queens. You can see this colony is looking much more populated than it was. They have completely cleaned the card. We'll do a quick little inspection on this colony in case you're curious to see how the queens are doing. Once again, they're putting a nectar or a syrup in there. Oops. Same thing on that one. We have pollen down through here, nectar, a little honey on that side. This is a frame that has some nice, uh, a nice little brood pattern on it. A little bit on that side too. The next one over will be a good one to take for a sample probably. Oh yeah, we got some brood on here. They are storing some up around here, which you wanna see. There's a little bee right there with some pollen on our legs. Looking real closely for the queen. The last thing I wanna do is wash one of these Pepto Pink queens from Nature's Image Farm. I think I'm gonna go one more over. It looks like there's more brood on the next one over. Okay, here we go. Look closely, make sure I do not see the queen. I don't see her. Now look in here as well. Lots of times they'll stand out if there's a queen in there. Do not see her. Take one more frame out. I'm gonna just use this first frame I looked at here. See what we got. Do not see the queen. That's more than enough. Quarter cup. Quarter cup. Put the lid on here and then we'll continue on with our inspection for a minute. Then we'll look and see what the mite count is. What am I gonna do with the rest of these bees? I was kind of shake them back into the colony like this. Let's go one more frame over, see if we see the queen or how it looks, and then we'll close it up. They're quite calm, uh, which is what I was hoping for. And down this area right here, I see a lot of what we call milk brood. Milk brood to me is the brood, basically the brand new larva right after they've emerged, uh, before they become mature larva. And you can kind of see down in the bottom of some of those cells, I'm not sure how well you can see, but it's kind of milky looking. And uh, that's why I call it milk brood. One more, why not while we're at it? They seem to be building the small patches of brood on most of the frames that I've looked at here in the back corner. Um, they're reserving the front area for more storage. And so I fully expect these bees to brood back significantly going into winter. Uh, that's what these Caucasian slash Carniolan bees do. It's actually not a bad thing uh, because the bees are able to preserve their food stores more. Attitude's pretty good. Now we're going to shake the mites and see what we have. Another zero. I see a little chunk of dirt in there. Zero mites. That is awesome. All right, the first two are good. Gonna go through the rest of these out here. I'm gonna pull all the Apigard cards out of them. Also check a few more of these colonies and just see what their mite counts are. Uh, so far, so good. I just pulled this frame right here out of this slot on this double stacked nuke. Look down there, you'll see the card down in that box right there. I've been told that the Apigard will shut the queen down. Well, this brood right here is basically right above where that card was with the Apigard. So, uh, at least in my case, I haven't seen huge evidence so far of the Apigard shutting down the queen. Zero mites. Three mites on that one. Some of the bees are actually propolizing around the apple garden. They haven't removed all of it. So let me check this one out and see what the mite count is. Another one that had done this had three mites in it. All right, zero mites. 
one mite. Zero mites. We've got a stinger and a little piece of dirt, but no mites. And we have another zero. It's a couple pieces of dirt in there. No mites. How about that? Zero mites. I'm really excited about the results out here. Uh, we checked eight colonies uh, for mites and came up with a total of four mites. Three of those were in one colony and the other one was in another colony. Other than that, we washed zeros. So I think that's pretty darn good. I'm excited about Apigard and I'm a believer in the product after this one little test right here in this bee yard. Gonna go now and check in some other bee yards, see what the results are. If I have a different result, I'll let you know. Well, I told you. <laughs> If I saw some different results or had anything else to report, I'd show you. Check out these mite counts out here in Midland City. Four mites. Zero mites. Not too bad so far. <laughs> Ten mites. Ugh. Zero mites. One mite, four mites, and last but not least, 10 mites. So I've treated the heck out of these bees. I uh, just got done treating with Apigard, and uh, most are okay within threshold. The 10 mites after all the treatment I've done is simply unacceptable. Uh, what would y'all do? Please comment in the section below.